Also, it's Mike's birthday tomorrow. So if you're watching this, wish him happy birthday in the comment box. And this is a perfect way to treat him. We're going to make more ice creams tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another review. There is Luna. <laughs> it's a reoccurring theme. One of our best watch review of a hot air fryer Philips uh, model <laughs> was uh, also uh, a future Luna in it. So let's hope this one will get... Came uh, from the vet, so. She just came from the vet. Yeah, sweetie. She's on uh, medication for some chronic pain. And what they told us is that when you have a pet and um, they're on some sort of a medication for long term use, sometimes they can affect the vital organs. So it's best to have them checked once in a while to see if everything is still going. That's not why we're here. We're here for something uh, uh, much happier. The ice maker. We're going to unbox this thing and, uh, you know, share our conclusions with you guys. Why did we buy this thing, Mike? Why did we buy this thing? So we can make ice cream. <laughs> so we can make ice cream. We love ice cream, but Either we don't have the space in the freezer or the ice cream that we can find has just too much sugar or it's just not what we like. So Mike had the idea, you know what? Why have ourselves limited by what you can find in the store? Why not try to make our own uh, ice cream? It's going to be fresh, healthier and um, yeah, ready whenever you want it. But we also went specifically for this model because this model doesn't have one of those components that you need to do that you need to leave in the freezer to freeze up first no, so it's a compressor so it freezes itself it freezes it does the whole thing one go it's like a bread baking machine yeah you just put everything in there go and uh, you'll end up with the outcome which is ready to, to enjoy in this case ice cream um so yeah so we want for the ice maker klarstein <laughs> I think I'm Klarstein. I think I'm pronouncing it uh, uh, right. It's German. Yeah. Eladera. <laughs> Ice maker Klarstein. So it's a compressor, which means that it freezes itself. Yeah. It freezes f by itself. Yeah. So that's important. Two liter two liters, is, which is a half a gallon capacity. But then with that comes the note that two liter doesn't mean that you can fill it up to two liter, right? Uh, you always no. have to stay below yeah. the max. You always have to stay one third below yeah. because it expands. And um, minimum is one third. So, yeah. so uh, from the box, we always try to see what we can find from the box. So as you can see, you can have it in red and in white. But since our kitchen is Bordeaux-ish red. No. We, I, I, we have for the white? I Even better. Stainless steel. Oh, yeah, even better. I was actually trying to sell it to myself, but it's even better. Uh, all right, so we're going to unbox it and uh, stall everything out and then come back to you guys. Yeah, let's go for the wide angle, guys, so that you can see the whole thing. So we just unboxed it. Uh, what Mike put on there is the lid, but in here goes this little bucket. So this is going to be your ice bucket. This is where the good, <laughs> the goodness will be in. Uh, I just took it out just to show you guys that yeah this is this is how it works it's a really nice solid bucket yeah. I love it it doesn't feel cheap at all it feels sturdy it feels it feel flimsy yeah it doesn't feel flimsy or whimsical I love that word so you can actually enjoy the ice making process while looking at it if you wish. You can look at the ice making you, process. Yeah, you can literally look at the ice being made. Churned. Yeah. Uh, you get also uh, this measurement cup. It goes to, to, to eight ounce. Okay, one cup. You get this scoop thingy, right? That might be a little flimsy. It is a little bit flimsy, so, yeah. But maybe not then. Then again, you don't need uh, like, yeah, we have our own. We have our own. Yeah, and the trusty scoop. Yeah, and I love I love the way it looks. So the best thing you can do, but I'm sure you guys know that already if you're looking this up, have a little bit of lukewarm water at the ready when you make your uh, ice cream balls. After each time you scoop, Scoops. scoop, not, huh? not ice cream balls. <laughs> yeah, ice cream I call them ice cream balls. When you, after after each scoop, 
just uh, dunk it into the lukewarm water and then use it again and you'll see that it will cut through ice like a hot knife through butter. Uh, butter? Butter. And then you get this, the vanilla sky. I know what this is. This is probably recipes. No, oh, this is not recipes. Oh no, it's just the manual. Okay, yeah, it's just the manual. Let's see what we can get from the manual. Okay, cleaning and care. Let me show, share that with you first because I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my God, how are we going to clean that thing? Uh, so it says here, take out the mixing blade, wipe it with a damp cloth. Take out the removable ball, clean it with a damp cl uh, soft cloth. Wipe the transparent lid and refill lid with a damp cloth. Refill, yeah. Remove the dirty on the body or other places with a damp, oh, so you don't wash it? Okay. So everything you do, you do with a damp cloth. You're not supposed to like dunk it all the way in the water. No, you, you can wash everything all the moving parts, you can throw them into the dishwasher. Yeah? Yeah, but this is not going to get dirty, the inside. No. Why would it? Yeah, I know. All right. So. Okay. Avoid the uh, is not placed well in time. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Use and preparation. That's also something you guys would like to know. After power up, the machine enters standby mode, then press the power button to enter the self mode, prompting you to input the working time. Okay. Okay, prepare recipe ingredients from your own recipe or from the recipe booklet here. So this book has also recipes. Note, you do not need to freeze the bowl for hours in a freezer in an advance, as this machine has a built-in comp compressor that freezes the recipe in ingredients in operation thus ensures the output of ice cream okay pour the well prepared recipe ingredients and warm water into the removable bowl then have a uniform mixing warm water but i think we're going to use a little bit of warm milk maybe that will enhance the flavor place the mixing blade into the removable bowl so so it's that so this is the mixing blade the white plastic thing so that one you place as last uh, and keep the mixing blade uh, bottom hole fitted well with the motor axis. Then put the transparent lid onto the machine and lock it anti-clockwise. That's it, guys, and you're good to go. And you're good to go. You can make your own ice. Uh, so I think they're talking about a booklet, but I don't see any booklets. I don't see any recipes here. There aren't any. No, there aren't. But they ref they but they refer to the recipes in the booklet. But we we didn't get any, right? Unless you throw it away. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about that because look what Mike got us. Oh, this okay. this fancy ice machine recipes. It's in Dutch, but that's what it says. I'm sure you figured that out. For the ice machine. For the ice machine. So happy. Look at that. All those colors, the fruit. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, uh, this is orange chocolate milfeuille with banana and warm rum sabayon sauce. Mm. Cappuccino tart. Uh, how, how are you going to do that? <laughs> Fresh pineapple kiwi. Mmm, guys, look at all Oh, I love, I love ice cream. Uh, orange flavored ice cream. Mmm, look at that. Mint, pineapple, double chocolate. Oh my God. Blueberries, citrus. Yum, yum, yum. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of recipes here. Mexican chocolate. Didn't know Mexico had it. Uh, chocolate uh, frambos. I don't know what frambos is in English. Wow, look at that, guys. Vanilla. Mm. Oh, I get it. I get it, I get it. <laughs> I keep reading the upper part, which doesn't match with the picture. The picture goes with the lower part. Mmm, look at that, guys. Look at that. This deliciousness. Yes, sirree. Look at the ingredients. So easy. It's milk, fine sugar, a watermelon puree, and one tablespoon of fresh citrus juice. That's it. Wow, they're so easy to make. 
Or this one, pina colada. It's coconut milk, milk, fine sugar, pineapple juice, Malibu rum, which we're not going to do. I, I can't have alcohol, but maybe Mike can try some. Uh, fresh pineapple, berries, and something to garnish it with. Mmm. I love it, guys. Love it. Apricot, orange, citrus. Yes. So there you have it. So if you decide to go for this model, make sure to order an ice uh, machine, an ice nice cream maker machine um, recipe uh, book especially for the ice machine you have to have something for the ice machine don't go and buy like recipe for um, you know normal uh, ice creams because that's something I might do I don't know maybe I'll be like what does it matter but it does matter so it does matter because they will also be giving you the right uh, proportions for your ice machine more or less and also, this is not included, but also try to get these scrappers, scrapers or scrappers, I don't know how you call them. There it is, guys. And as you saw, I showed you a couple of uh, recipes, very basic ingredients. It's never more than four ingredients, nothing too fancy. Um, that's it. That's it. So I'm going to stop here. And uh, I'm going to continue once we have decided upon which recipe we will be making and then share that with you plus the outcome. So in this video, you can see the whole thing. All right, for now, stand by. Guys, so this is the next day. These containers just arrived. We're not sponsored or anything. You don't have to have specifically containers of this brand, but along with your ice maker machine, you'll have, you, you will have to have containers because once the ice maker machine is done making your ice uh, cream recipe, you'll have to transfer it to um, a container and then the container has to go into the freezer for at least an hour or two, yeah? Because this is not a freezer. Yes, this is a self-freezing uh, ice machine, but freezing for while it's making, it's, it's churning, you know? While it's churning, whatever you, you pour in there to make it into ice, it needs to be cooled. It needs to, to be uh, frozen. So that's why it's self-freezing. But it doesn't mean that because it, it's called self-freezing that the ice cream will be in perfect condition when you take it out. So sometimes you need to help uh, things a hand. And that's definitely also for this. It's just the way it is. Uh, I don't think there's any ice cream machine that will do you give you the perfect ice cream you'll always have to take it out transfer it to a container and then put it in the freezer for an hour or two at least hello ice kunstler hello <laughs> this is in the in, in german That's so a german company so this is from germany this is from germany that's to deine ice creationen with these portions behältern ab sofort still for hygienisch und and so forth and so weiter. Thank you. Spaß bei Schlemmern, Belinda. Yeah, we love to speak German. <laughs> it has this liberating way of pronouncing words, but they're beautiful. Yeah. Kudos for Germany. Yeah. Let, let me see. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful. One liter. Yeah, I love it. I love these kind of containers. They're thick. They're rubbery. Yeah. And, uh, they feel soft uh, but sturdy. Made for ice cream, so they, yeah. They cut, uh, they close. Look, there's even a, a double bottom. Perfect. Can you guys see that? Yeah. You can't see it, but it's transparent. the The bottom half is transparent. They have them in different colors, so that you can color code <coughs> your um, containers. Yeah. Green. You see, these are two different colors as yeah, well. True. One is light gray, yeah. one is dark gray, so that you know which which flavor one is, is which flavor is what. Yeah. yeah, and maybe there is also a system where you can work with kind of a sticker. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Or maybe you can uh, use like a pencil that you can wipe that you can wipe away afterwards, just to know what container container contains what flavor. So the these came in a set of two. Okay, they Ice cream portion and contain. Okay. Yeah, it's just just very straightforward. 
this is what you have all right so guys yeah so <clears throat> you do need containers right self-freezing ice cream machine again just to be very uh, clear about that does not mean that the ice cream will come out in the perfect condition and we need to have it in the perfect condition so that when you scoop it and you have those ice cream balls in your horn uh or whatever you want to uh, have it that they'll they'll be solidified a little bit yeah they I'm won't put it in my horn i'm going to put it in my spoon or your spoon yeah so they they won't start to drool immediately yeah so they'll be more solidified that's why they need to go into the freezer and that's exactly what we're going to do because we want to we want to give this machine a, a fair review so it means we're going to do the perfect conditions to get the perfect ice cream that's what we're going to do so in a bit i'm going to go and get some ingredients and then we'll start doing this and then we're going to let it uh, freeze in the freezer overnight and tomorrow we're going to come back to it and enjoy this ice cream tomorrow is cheat day for us so perfect timing guys so yes it is a double bottom mike just cleansed them see so what that means is that the um the actual container where the the ice cream will be won't be exposed directly to the freezing temperature it will be in there and and, and and to the heat and to the heat so you can leave it out and it also has anti-slip yeah but seriously i think it does something with the freezing process when it's double bottom like that i've read something about that so uh so yes yeah, so if you have the chance get something like this because you, you guys see that you know the the store bought ice cream comes in one simple container and sometimes it get it, it crystallizes it gets ice in there and with these kind of constructions the chance is maybe less not sure so guys the recipe that we have today the ice cream that we will be making won't actually be ice cream but frozen yogurt since me and mike love frozen yogurt we used to eat a lot of it and then it all closed down here in amsterdam for some reason and then we couldn't find any uh so what we're going to do today is strawberry frozen yogurt this is actually a very basic uh, introduction to making ice cream with your uh, uh home uh, ice cream machine because yogurt is and, and honey is the base uh, you can substitute sugar with honey because honey is a little bit uh, more healthier than sugar. So this is actually the base. A Greek yogurt and honey. Yeah, One is for the basis to make it rich and creamy. The other one is to make it sweet. And the fruit, the purpose of the fruit is to give it flavor. So there you have it. So the base to, to make it rich and creamy, make it sweet, give it flavor. These three. I broke it down for you right there. Uh, today... I'll leave, I'll leave you guys the measurement in the description box below. Uh, but today I got here about one kilogram of strawberry. I just cleaned them. And what you can do is you, you can puree them, but, but me and Mike decided not to do that because then they would be just pureed. Yeah. So we don't mind getting a little bit of uh, strawberry chunks in our frozen yogurt. That's the charm of making something homemade. So I'm just going to mash it, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mash all these strawberries, one kilo of strawberries in this bowl. And, but I'm going to mash it um, I mean, quite well. You don't have to puree it, but just, just get in there and mash it uh, pretty well. Then we're going to combine these three ingredients and uh, introduce them to the uh, ice maker. Yeah, so we're just going to start slow, uncomplicated a recipe that contains three ingredients greek yogurt honey strawberries so just to sum it up for you guys we have one kilo of mashed strawberries 114 grams of honey and about 490 grams or just go for the 500 500 grams maybe of unflavored greek yogurt or whatever kind of other yogurt you have uh don't go for the one that's uh uh, fat free you need you need to have the fat in there because that's what gives it its richness and creaminess all right so we're gonna pour these measurements in there and then let it do its thing mike already looked at the um, at the 
the instruction, the booklet, the booklet it's actually very straightforward. They say prepare recipe ingredients from your own recipes or from the recipe booklet How much here. Money? 114, 114 grams. Uh, you do not need to freeze the bowl for hours in the freezer in advance. So that's that's what this machine does. Yeah, but afterward, when you're when it's done, you have to put the ice cream that you get in the freezer. Okay, uh, pour the well prepared recipe ingredients and warm water into the removable bowl. Why warm water? We don't. We don't. This recipe doesn't call for warm water. No, it's for first use. Okay. Place the mixing blade into the removable bowl and keep the mixing blade bottom hole fitted well with the motor axis, then put the transparent blade. Okay, push start. So did we figure out how long? Everyone keeps saying that it must churn for at least 30 to 40 minutes, at least. So let's set it to 40 minutes and then see what, what happens. Yeah. Happened. Yeah, I think that's the best thing we can do. So Mike is already pouring in there. Yeah, so I, I the measured honey. the honey. The rest we don't have to measure, but we did have to measure the honey. No, that's one kilo. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So just just go with it. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's one kilo. Yeah, I know. Uh, why why Mike made this mistake is that we also have uh, buckets of half kilo. So I thought he saw it. So I understand why you uh, made that mistake. No oh, worries. Thank you. Yeah, I'll forgive you this time. Is that? Is that? Would that be? Just, yeah, I think this is it. Let's let's just let's just see how much. No, but the cup. Is yeah, this well. is this is yeah yeah, and then forty for that. Yeah, I think you're I think you you're good there. Mm, I love Greek yogurt, and then this goes in its entirety in there. Oh my God, it's driving me crazy already. Yeah, should I, should I grab it? No, take the handle. Oh. Yeah. It looks like we're making tomato sauce. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. So is there like a line that... No. No, there's no line. No. Okay. I think we need to close the top now. Yes. Like so, and then... Push the go button. Which is one? The play? I think so. 40 minutes. I think what it's first going to do is try to cool. Yeah. No? no? I think it's yeah. supposed to be turning, but it isn't. So. No? Are you sure? Isn't it supposed to cool off first? Not really sure. Not really sure, but it's. Wait, let's turn it off. Let's make sure that the... Let's just make sure that the blade... There I think the is. blade wasn't... No. Make sure that the blade is in there, guys. Keep it pressed. How much? Uh, 40. 40? Okay. So it's really easy, guys. You just, you just turn it on and then it will give you, uh, by default, one hour. And then you just go with these buttons. To the to the right time. Oh yeah, there it goes. There it goes. So first, it's going to mix the whole thing well. Maybe we should have mixed it. We should have mixed it. Yeah, we should have mixed it, guys. It's already mixing. You see, the yogurt is already coming. Out, yeah. So. Guys, uh, we forgot. <laughs> we forgot because of the mistake that we made. We were distracted. Make sure that you do mix your ingredients well before you pour it in there. Well, or just turn it on and then pour the ingredients in. But I couldn't do that because I had to measure the. the yeah. Um, the I know. I know, but look, it's doing the mixing for itself, and it's gonna be churning for forty minutes. So. I bet it will be uh, mixed well at the end of that. I think so. But you know what I don't say, Mike? That snowflake. No. So the, when, when the blade wasn't put in properly, it gave us, it was indicating here some sort of a snowflake. I don't know. Oh yeah, it already feels cold to the touch. Can you feel it? What is it? Yeah, can you feel it? 
Or is it just the metal? It feels cool. I think it's just the metal. Look. I don't know, it's kind of getting the typical strawberry ice cream look. Is this a temperature? 22? Maybe we should lower it. No, you can't. I think... Uh, it doesn't make sense. Why would it have a temperature of 22 degrees? Maybe that's the temperature which is inside. It's, it's now... Okay. So we'll have to keep this... An eye on this to see if this is dropping. Because yeah. I don't even know what that is. It started at 23. Yeah? Okay. Guys, as soon as I turned off the uh, camera, it kicked into the uh, the freezing uh, uh, mode. See, it did that all by itself. Once it reaches 22 degrees, 21 degrees. So just wait for it. So it's gonna cool the whole thing gradually. But yeah, the, so the freezing mode, like I said, it kicks in at 21 degrees. I can't wait, Mike. It's so exciting. So exciting! It is. Yeah. All right. You know. Plus, we don't even know if uh, forty minutes was enough for this. So, uh, but that's the beauty about these these kind of machines. You just keep an eye on it. It has transparent lid, so you can look, and you know adjust accordingly. Yeah, it's definitely dropping. Look. So. But it's still way up there, 20 degrees. So that's why some people say, uh, if you have the time, I mean, who does nowadays? But they say, if you have the time, once you mix all the ingredients, best thing is to put them for an hour in your fridge. That way you're gonna help this machine. But then again, why? Yeah, then again, why would we be paying for a self freezing machine? The beauty about this kind of machine, now that we're doing this reviewing, actually guys, now we get to the core of it. The beauty of this machine is that that preparation where you have to, to do the ingredients in the fridge for an hour, you don't have to do it yeah, now. Or overnight. Or overnight. I, I you don't have, have to do it. I use ice machines with, with plate, where you, where you need to insert the plate into the freezer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was never in the freezer when we wanted to make the ice cream. Yeah. So yeah, because it takes a lot of space. So usually you don't put it. But guys, one thing I'm it's, not, I, I didn't. Already yes, I didn't cut. I didn't cut it. It's, this is one go. I, the last time that I've been filming is now and it, it's now two minutes. So it dropped from 23 to minus five, minus six. Wow, this thing is good, Mike. Yeah. This thing is really good. It went in less than two minutes from 23 degrees to minus 10. It's crazy. I love it. This is so exciting. I love when things work. No, Thank is God. Is it changing? Or? Uh, no. Yeah. Not yet. No, not yet. Not really. Though, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's less fluid. The, the movement is less fluidy. Yeah, no, I can definitely see something. Yeah, no, I see something changing, Mike. It's getting thicker. No, it's definitely getting thicker. Wow, minus 21. Minus 22. Where will it stop, you think? I don't know. I think it's uh, almost reaches max. Minus 23. Okay, uh, what, can we, what can we tell you now that it's actually at work? Uh, what can we tell you about the noise? It really isn't that bad. No, it's very quiet. Yeah. I heard uh, strange stories about yes. machines being Yeah, I read them. Yeah, I read them. I read some, I read actually one review. I don't have to exaggerate. There was this lady that said, oh my God, the noise is driving me crazy. But then all the other reviews were like, no, w w we don't experience that. And then that same lady was like, oh, and it didn't work. And so I just, maybe she got the wrong one. Maybe she got the defected one yeah. to begin with. Yeah, because it's, it really isn't that noisy and it doesn't vibrate or anything. It's not bad. 
Yeah. It stays cool on the outside. Stop touching it. She's making all fingers on it. Yeah? No, there are no fingers. Look on the side. No, I'm filming on the side. Maybe from your angle. I have sweaty hands. I just came in. Went to get some groceries. It is a little, little, little bit warm. Well, not warm. Warm isn't a big word, but you can feel a little bit of warmth here. Tiny bit. It's basically a tiny freezer. Yeah. Guys, you're gonna wait. I feel like a kid. Temperature still dropping. Minus 27. 28. All right, come back to you. Come back to you guys once it reaches the max. Guys, Mike just gave us a very important piece of information. You know how we have with a hot air fryer? Sick plug, we did a review of that also. You know how you have with a hot air fryer when, you, when it finishes whatever it's making for you? It still has a mode where it keeps everything uh, uh, for you for 30 minutes, uh, you know, in the warm, the keep warm mode. Well, this thing does, of course, the opposite. This thing, after the ice uh, making process is finished, it will keep it. Um, uh, it will it will keep it cool for another for another hour, and that's. I think they did that because you know not everyone's going to stand here and wait for it. I'm doing this because we're reviewing and we're excited, but you know, the added value of this kind of stuff is that you can just turn it on and go do your thing around the home, around your house, groceries, whatever. So that's why they give you another hour. After it's finished, you still have another hour to take it out and it won't be melted. And you don't have to do anything for it. It goes uh, automatically in that mode. So it finishes and then switches automatically to the mode where it keeps everything in there for another hour. Cool. Love it. Love that function. I love it. Look, it says so here. So guys, it looks like it's stuck on minus 28 degrees. We just started twitching, jumping from minus 29 back to 28, back to 20, minus 29. But I think this is, yeah, this is the max, minus 28 degrees. By the way, guys, when it's not completely solidified, you can, this machine can also give you milkshakes. And I know everyone loves make milkshakes. So, um, so yeah, so be on the lookout for that because we're probably going to, to try that out also. Try to make milkshakes. We love milkshakes. Who doesn't? So then, of course, you're going to be needing less time because it doesn't have to be ice cream to actually solidify a little bit. So yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do. Frozen yogurt, you can do uh, milkshakes, you can do ice cream, all with this machine. So guys, this is the result of 40 minutes, but you can see clearly that it's not, it's still not it's there not yet. Enough. So um, I wish, I wish the, the manual would tell you what you can do for how much, they what amount. They refer to the recipe, so. Yeah, okay. So we're just gonna go for another what? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, I think. Let's see what they do. What, what happens? All right. Another twenty minutes. So that would be fifty minutes after this one. Let's see. If fifty minutes total is enough. It's not, uh... Guys, so first we did forty minutes, then we did twenty minutes. And then we did another 20 minutes, and now, look what we have. Yeah, no, I think we filled it to the max yeah. as well. So that is 40, 20, 20, that is what? It's uh, one hour and 20 minutes. One hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, one hour and 20 minutes. But this is good, I think. It's now ready. We're going to, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So one hour and 20 minutes, and now we're going to, Turn it off and transfer it to these containers. Yeah, let's uh, let's wait for that. Yeah, three, wait for three. The timer and then we'll uh, transfer it. Yeah. So uh, it goes without saying, of course. I mean, that is the basic logic. The more you add in there, the longer it's gonna take. Yeah, and 
then maybe next time we, we, we can should do chill, half chill the strawberries first because they contained a lot of uh, water as well which yeah. was all room temperature yeah yeah you know what you can do you can get frozen strawberries but then they will be whole yeah. so what you should do is actually get the frozen uh, get the um, yeah you can also get the frozen but then no I no put them in the kitchen uh, Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. If you have a kitchen aid with the function that crushes ice cubes, which we have, then you can just get the strawberries, the frozen one, crush them, and that, um, I don't know, that, that, will, that will help this machine a little bit. Yeah. So it's increasing in volume because it's now touching the uh, skin yeah. of the... Uh... Yeah. All right. So we're going to wait for these little two minutes. To go by and then we're gonna take it out so uh, yeah so for these measurements that we give you it's gonna take an hour and what what was it Mike an hour and 20 minutes yeah, yeah an hour and 20 minutes then it will then it will be on this level nothing was pre-chilled yeah nothing was pre-chilled no it's still guys for those of you that are not uh, familiar with this concept if you don't if you don't use a machine at all then you're looking at hours really because first they need to be hours you need to clean the fruit puree them or smash them whatever put them in the freezer they need to freeze completely so that goes a day yeah then take them out put them in here let the machine do its thing put it in the container put it back into the, fr the freezer so yeah at least this is this this does this takes that first step out the first two steps out. I just I just lifted this up. It's really heavy. We tasted made it? no. I haven't tasted it yet. We made a lot of ice cream. Well, yeah. I think it can have another. No. 10 minutes maybe? No. no? Okay. Oh, this is perfect as milkshake. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna put it in the container and put it in the freezer. Guys, I've read a couple of people saying that uh, in their experience you have to fill it as much as uh, much as possible because there shouldn't be too much room for air to get in there because that would help the crystallizing process. And that's not what you want so let's try it this way there shouldn't be too much space for air to get in there because then it will start to uh, uh, crystallize that's what that's what i read but I, I don't know so with the amount that we made it takes about one container more or less yeah almost all all the, let's say 99.5 one in here and now it's going to go into the freezer at least for an hour, two hours, three hours is, is, is even better. And if you leave it overnight, it's even better. It's the best actually. So guys, we're going to continue. It's the next day for us. Yesterday, after we finished it, it went into the freezer. It's now the next day, about six-ish. Five th six 5.30. So it's more than 24 hours. Okay. Wow, okay, so we're gonna try and scoop a couple. So guys, I think we made a mistake here. Mike is chiseling the ice cream. I think what we did wrong is, apparently with this kind of ice cream that you make, it's not, you, you cannot just let it sit in the freezer. There's too much water. There's too, yeah, if there's too much water, it's gonna freeze. So avoid letting it sit that long. So this kind of ice that you make this way, you can have it in the freezer longer than two hours, maybe. So uh, so oh, it's it some. Needs, it needs to defrost a little before you can do anything with it. Yeah. So I think if you're going to do these kind of ice creams, you just have to to plan it on that day. Make it uh, two hours in advance before you want to enjoy it and then uh, put it in the freezer, but keep an eye on it. 
keep an eye on it to see how it does. About the flavor, it really tastes very good, very fresh and uh, natural, and so that's not the problem. Flavor is good. The flavor is really good. The problem is we can have a nice scoop. I'm going to cut it with a knife. Yeah. Also, I don't know if this has to do anything with it, but these lids don't click. You just put them on there. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just something that I noticed. So maybe you should have a container that actually clicks until it closes. All right. So we're going to make this another time. And only then I'm going to upload the whole video, including this so that you guys can learn from this experience. And then we're going to make it another time from this mess from this mess. Then make it another time and we won't be having it in the freezer for 24 hours, but only for a couple of hours, maybe an hour or two and then keep, keep our eyes on it. And then see what happens. I decided to make a milkshake. This might work. So guys, eventually we turned it into this. What it was like uh, when it um, yeah. came out of the ice machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should have stopped there. No, but seriously, uh, the mistake again is don't put it that long in the freezer. But this is really good. Guys, okay, so it's been a week. It's been a week because, you know, during the week, who has time for this? Uh, plus, we needed to figure out some uh, things. So we're going to continue right now. And one thing that we have learned by now is that although this thing has a big dish, it's really nice if you don't fill it up because otherwise you're going to put this machine really hard to work to freeze all of that. And as you guys saw by now in the first type of the video, uh, that, that's a challenge, not only for this, but also for the industrial ones. So although it is big, try not to fill it up all the way. If you want to fill it up because you have a, a party going on or you invited your family, you can do that. Uh, let it spin, let it do its round for more than an hour. And then also, even then, when you put it in the freezer, make sure that you take it out before uh, it goes beyond two to three hours tops. Right? So you, you can still do that to get a, a, a big uh, quantity. But just make sure that it doesn't stay too long in the freezer. Keep checking it. Um, so anyway, so uh, we have found like a really basic recipe to make uh, ice cream with a coffee flavor and maybe some uh, coffee chips in there. And the key here is less is more. So less is always more. Less is always more. Oh. So for this recipe, this recipe, we're going to be needing almond, uh, almond milk, one fourth cup, which is 60 milliliter. Uh, we're going to need heavy cream. A half cup, which is about 120 milliliter. Slagroom. Slagroom, we know it. Slagroom. Slagroom. Slag means beet. So this is whipped, whipped cream. Whipped cream, yeah. But it's not whipped yet. It's not whipped. No, we still need to do this. Oh, yeah. This is actually a very good point that Mike points out because we don't have such thing as heavy cream in Holland. But our heavy cream, for those of you that are in, in, in Holland, that we, we, we I've, I've, I've noticed that we're gaining more Dutch viewers more and more. So, welcome for the Dutch viewers. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, just get slagroom, okay? Slagroom. Slagroom. Uh, so, what was I saying? So, half cup of slagroom <laughs> heavy cream, which is the equivalent of 120 milliliter of slagroom. Then, one fourth cup of coffee. Just get the strongest coffee that you can uh, get, yeah? We made this from our Nespresso. We did a review of that. And just put it on the stretto. Yeah? What else do we have here? Uh, then one, one third cup of sugar, which is 67 grams. And then finally, one teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, I had also rum extract here, but I don't know how rum will work out. But you can experiment. But just to stay on the safe side, we're going to follow the recipe. So one teaspoon. Oh, and a little pinch of salt. Just a little pinch. Luna agrees. Yeah, there's our Luna. Here's your little sardine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
want the sardine? Luna is always here when we have a new machine. <laughs> Actually, one of our most viewed unboxing and reviewing <laughs> was with Luna. Anyway, so let's start, guys. So first, we're going to uh, mix the whole thing here and then add it in there and then do basically the same. But then today, because we have less, we really expect that with 30 minutes, we're yeah. going to get a long way. It's finished. Yeah. So let's do this. So mix everything in there and then pour it in there and let it do its round for 30 minutes. There goes the whipped cream. See how thick and rich it is. This is actually what's going to give it that silk smooth texture. Finish. Yeah. Then almond milk, uh, that would be 60 milliliter. 60? 60, yeah, 60 milliliter. Okay. It's not much. You can also uh, opt for coconut milk. We've been over the quantities actually, so let's just hope this works. Yeah, but we also have more coffee. So. Yeah, we have more coffee and we did a little bit more whipped cream. Oh, but this is just five grams, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else do we have there? A pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Like a pinch. Just pinch it. Yeah. Yeah, the tip of a tip of a knife. Tip yeah. of the knife. Yes. Yeah, that's more than enough. Okay. Uh, so then sh sugar. 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 We can also use honey. You can opt for honey if you want. But then. Let's look for sugar. So guys, we found our sugar. We don't have regular sugar. I don't know, for some reason I didn't get it, but I got the the bastard <laughs> sugar. Well, I don't want to offend anyone. It's raw sugar. We really call it, this is the Dutch word for it, bastard suiker. How much? Uh, 67. Are you sure that's correct? It's so Yes, lot. 67, okay. one third cup sugar, okay. he said. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that is what ice cream is. That's why people gain weight when we have a lot of ice cream because it's a lot of sugar. I always want it. Yeah, I think this is enough. Maybe we should stop at 60. 60? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Plus, we're, we're still gonna use uh, chocolate uh, things, sprinkles. sprinkles in there, so. Chocolate we sprinkles. We should be okay. Then the coffee, that's what's gonna give you the flavor. And then the vanilla, one teaspoon. It's supposed to be a little throaty already. And I think it is. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. Then Mike is gonna mix it a little bit. Come on. Yeah. It's decided by now, so it should be written, so it should be done. Let's see, throw it all up. Oh yes, there it is, this, yeah. Mm. Mm. It smells good. like mocha cake. Yeah. Mocha cake. Mocha chocolate. Oh yeah, this is frothy. Throw the heck out of it, yes. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Are you going to taste it? Yeah. I was going to be savage and taste it with my no. finger. Take then you guys going to... Mm! Oh, you guys, if you want caramel, this is true. I'm not trying to be funny. If you want to make caramel flavored something, please do this mix. It tastes like melted caramel. Oh, this is so good, Mike. This is really good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So 30 minutes. Yes. So we're going to go for 30 minutes just because it's way, 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 way less than we did last time. Uh, well, by, by last time, I mean the first part of the video. Plus, this is a much better shot. All right, let it go. So the temperature is going to keep dropping, which is funny. It's going to go from 30 degree, uh, 23 degrees to minus 23 degrees. So above, so below. As above, so below. 
And guys, again, I really think that, yeah, well, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. But it's now on 30 minutes. Let's see. What, no, Mike? Because the, when the ice is freezing, it's expanding. Yeah. So this is supposed to make one and a half cup of ice. So I just think. so you know. So you're gonna have plenty of uh, scoops, uh, at least two per person. Plus, oh, this is another thing. This is another thing that uh, comes to mind. What we found out is since this cannot sit overnight in the freezer, best thing to well, do. I think this one can. Right? Yeah, because the it's too. One, because this is not water based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Mike could be uh, on to something. The other one was water based because when we squeezed the strawberries, there was so much water that came out of it. So, uh, and then of course, that's what water does. It freezes over. Um, but I still would, well, we're gonna find out, but I still would uh, stay on the safe side. Best thing to do is, guys, if you want everything to go fine, you can try it out. just do it. Uh, yeah, or you can try it out. I mean, this, we this, can try it out. this doesn't. Just leave a little bit and then freeze yeah, and okay, see okay. What it's like yeah, we will do that. We'll do that. Uh, let us be the guinea pigs. Let us be the guinea pigs and spend all this money Everybody. and uh, try this. <laughs> Actually, no, this is, this is like maybe the cheapest ice cream. Somebody's waiting for her dinner. She's waiting for her dinner? She's like, if you have ice cream, uh-uh. <laughs> Luna is so sweet. She's one hour too early. Luna is, Luna is, no, she's like, no, I'm not one hour too early. I want it, no. Yeah. Luna? Yeah. Uh, All good things come to those who wait. Yes. Yeah. She's like, no, don't give me that. <laughs> <laughs> she's so sweet yeah she always waits there and then that's the signal that we need to do something about hers because this one the empty one is hers uh, and now she's gonna she's gonna do dramatic she's gonna do the sad meow uh, yes all the tricks come out now guys if you want to go all out get these but keep them whole because I broke the half, ice literally. Horn. Ice oranges. All right, we're gonna do Dutch lesson here. Ice oranges. Uh, cacao dip, yeah? See, the rim is skipped, uh, dipped in cacao. Uh, if you wanna go out, do this. And again, just keep them whole. Waffle cones with chocolate flavor coating. Uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna break them. Don't break them. Oh, yeah, don't break them. So, I have three holes, and other three are completely meshed because I dropped the box while they were delivering the groceries this morning. But, uh, nothing to be sad about because you can use those shattered cones and just kind of stick them in your scoop, ice scoop, and then you know, that's how you eat it, huh? Yeah, that's how you're gonna eat it. Yeah, I don't know how, why it happens, but there it is. There they are. Let me show them to you. There they are. They look delicious. They look delicious. And there is this mess. Then, of course, if you want to keep the, uh, the calories a little bit down, don't get these because these are 472 calories per 100 grams. What? Yeah, per 100 gram. I don't want one. No, this is 100 gram. Uh, so this is 126 grams. So that is divided by six. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's about 60 calories per, per cone. So really not too bad. Look at this happy box. Love it. All right. By the way, guys, because the quantity is way lesser than what we used last time, the temperature dropped like crazy in the shortest amount of time. Yeah, you can see it's, it's six minutes in. Yeah, it's six minutes in and we're already at the max. Well, it's gonna go down to 23 maybe and then it stops. Yeah. Guys, so when it comes to chocolate uh, chip, just get this. Also, if you're in Holland, just get hagelslag. This is what we normally use on bread. You smear your bread with a little bit of butter, or you can also do butter and jam, and then this on top. 
Yeah, I love it. It's a really typical Dutch thing. Uh, but today, since I couldn't find the other kind of chocolate chips that I wanted, uh, I got these. This should work. So we're gonna mix this in at the end when, when it's all done and everything and then give it one last mix. Guys, look at that. And that's only after 15 minutes. We're halfway. There are your scoops. Wow. Okay. So yeah. So less is definitely the way. Yeah, less is more. Less is more. More is less. Yeah. More quantity is less quality. Less quality is more... Less quantity is more quality. It's the yin yang of ice cream. Okay, guys, so we have about nine minutes left. Look at that. This is ice cream. I'm telling you, I don't care what you say. This is the consistency of ice cream. You can even, you can even hear it drag on the bottom. Oh my God, those balls got big. They were a little bit smaller, but now look at that. They're huge balls too. It freezes, it expands. Yeah, it's crazy. So this is how crazy the weather can be in Holland. The last two days we had a storm. Some people died, some were injured, homes were broken, trees fell down, cars were total loss because of that. But today it's really, really hot. I just went outside and it's, 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 it's really, Tomorrow. it's the sun, the, the surface of the sun out there. But I'm telling you this because when I came back, I stayed a while out of the kitchen. When I came back, it really, smells here like some sort of an ice cream parlor. I'm not kidding. So this recipe with the coffee and the whole thing that we did here with this recipe is also gonna make your home smells like some ice cream parlor. So it's just a nice side effect. Yeah, and Mike was gonna say tomorrow is gonna be even hotter. So perfect weather to bring out your ice cream machine. So I was a little bit, um, I, I doubted these containers, but maybe it has nothing to do with the containers and everything to do with what you're making, what you're putting in there. Last seven seconds, guys. Minus 25. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we already told that. So, even if you don't have the time to... Oh, look at that. This is exactly what you see in one of these big containers. Uh, at, at the ice cream parlor. This is exactly what you see. Look at that. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Mm. This is perfect. Yeah. We hit the perfect recipe for coffee flavored ice cream. Please look no more. So I'm not going to transfer it into this. Yeah, we're still going to put it in the freezer for an hour or two because uh, that's how long we have till it's supper. Would you do that or just drop it in here? I'm not quite sure how to do this because... Look at this guys, completely solidified. It's really completely solidified. So this is the proof. The proof is in the ice cream, not in the pudding. So again, um, this is not a lot, but this is more than enough for two persons. And this way you're guaranteed that you're actually having day fresh ice cream. Uh, we put in some sprinkles. Yeah, these sprinkles. Chocolade flocke. Chocolade flocke. Flakes, it's almost like English. But then I, I guess because you guys have a lot of Dutch words in your language, so maybe this could be one of these. Yeah, so that's not that's not bad. And it's melting rapidly. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Homemade. It's homemade. So there are no additives. Exactly. So uh, that's what you want, but that's why it has to go into the freezer for at least an hour or two. Everyone keeps advising that. Yeah, 
guys. We're really not trying to be funny or cool. It tastes really good. I'm not just saying this for the sake of the video. It tastes really, really good. So we're gonna scrap the bottom because look, that much is in there. Wow, that, that's at least half a scoop. Yeah, you should easily get four scoops out of this. Easily, I think. What do you think, Michael? Maybe three, four? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Bet between three and four. Yeah. So, guys, we are now so confident that we decided we're going to do another batch. Uh, uh, yeah. not because From some ingredients, we still had the half of it left. And you and uh, like the heavy cream, that's not something. It's really fresh. That's not something that you can uh, save for too long, even in the fridge. It would be a waste. We don't like that, so. We decided to, to do this and then finish the ingredients and you know that's it now that we know for sure that it works why not so i'm not going to show you this because that will be redundant we already did this it's exactly the same recipe the other one is already in the fridge will you take bullet juice yeah mike is asking me if i want two scoops look at this guys look at this it's homemade so it's gonna melt a little bit quicker Oh man, let, let me taste it for you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Seriously, if you love coffee flavored ice cream, this recipe is the best. This is honestly one of the best ice creams that I've had coffee flavored. So guys, yes, the Klarstein self-freezing ice maker is wonderful and does what it promised and is worth the money. That's one. Another thing that we can conclude in wrapping up this video is we now showed you the basis for basically any recipe any flavored recipe you want to have um the only thing that you need to change in every recipe to get a different flavor is basically the coffee yeah so it's the coffee that does the flavor that's the element that you're going to change now you know that 425 milliliter of heavy cream you're going to need 60 milliliter of any kind of fluid which is going to give the flavor. So you can also, let's say, if you want orange flavored, go for fresh squeezed 60 milliliter uh, orange juice. So that's that's the thing you're gonna be changing. Keep the recipe as it is, change only the thing that will give it the flavor. And whatever that is, if you're going to do this recipe, that must be 60 milliliter of any kind of uh, flavoring fluid. There you have it, I love it. I'm honestly, I, I, I love this and I love this ice machine, the Klarstein, and there's nothing more I can add to it. Here's to you. Mm, mm, mm. Love it. Good job. High five, Mike. All right, we're going to enjoy it because yeah. it's melting. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and all that. And I uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching and enjoy your ice cream. Also, it's Mike's birthday tomorrow. So if you're watching this, wish him happy birthday in the comment box. And this is a perfect way to treat him. We're going to make more ice creams tomorrow because it's still, it's still very, very hot it's days. It's melting. Yes. I, All right. I should do voiceover. Bye-bye, really. <laughs> guys. Bye. Guess whose birthday it is today. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I made a mistake. Yeah, we have to turn him around. You, got, you have to see it in the next shot, so this is not 2052. It should have been what? 25. Ah, happy birthday. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest cake you've ever seen? Yep, that's how it should have been. I'm, I'm sorry for making a mistake. My bad. Happy 25th and birthday! Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you.